Hey, how's it going? What's happening? So, uh, it's an, kind of a nice day here on Saturday. Not real, not real crappy. Uh, and we're going to, it's May 7th, and I'm going to a new brewery. Grand opening. So, uh, hopefully I can take a few little shots out there and see what we get. See what it's like. Come along. Let's check it out. So we're heading to uh, the Nine Locks Brewery, and it's out here in, uh, on Waverly Road in Dartmouth. So uh, this is their grand opening day, so this will be cool. We'll check it out, see what they got, see what kind of fun and games we got. <laughs> see you there. All right, all right, looks like we're here. Oh, traffic, traffic, traffic. Check this thing out, look. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at that, that's cool. Sweet. Well, let's get ready. Let's park and go on in. Wait, this whole thing is the brewery? From there all the way down? Oh my goodness. Wow. Come in and we're open. Oh geez. See? <laughs> wow, cool broomobile. Nice. I love that. All the graphics. Pretty cool. specialty malts like I say uh, we have different combinations for all the different recipes they get strong it smells strong wonderful yeah <laughs> I gotta say I love brewing because oh just, yeah just everything about smells. brewing smells wonderful uh, the big plastic thing is our grist case basically uh, all the all the grain for the next brew will be milled and put into there so that when you walk in the morning and start brewing it's there and it's ready to go uh, I have a digital readout here so that I don't actually have to stay in that dusty room for the 20 to 30 minutes it takes to grind all the malt. Uh, on brew day, we have another big white pipe that comes out from here and goes straight to the, uh, the brew kit. Yeah, no smoking Look at that, that's awesome. Hmm, cool. Yeah. 
This must be the canning line. Neat. Canning line. Chew. Cool. Global canning solutions. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. They mean business. <laughs> Lots of tanks. Tons of tanks. the time the fermenter is full, uh, the wort is at 20 degrees and it's full of yeast which is oxygenated. So it's good to go. Uh, once it's in the fermenter, depending on the beer style, it will stay between 14 and 21 days. The, different, the main difference being the IPA and the ESB, we dry hop them in the fermenter so at the end of primary fermentation we'll add more hops into the tank and give them two or three days uh, in there to absorb um, the flavor from the dry hops. Uh, we do not filter, we do not pasteurize, we do not do any of those things. Our clarification is purely temperature and time. So you get damn cold and you leave it for as long as, well actually as long as our time schedule. We're at the point now where we know how long it takes to get to a clarity point where we're happy with it. Once it's clear, clear we'll transfer it to one of our two bright beer tanks. One is right over there and one is right here. Of course, they're right next to each other, really. Um, right beer tanks, we'll transfer them over and then we'll carbonate it in the tank. Uh, we have two carbonation levels, one's for draft, which is your kegs and your growlers, and two is for cans. Uh, draft is 2.5, cans is 2.8, just because people expect to have a bit more fizz in the can, and that's what we, we like 20, to give 28 PSI? 2.8, 2.8 volumes of CO2. It means if you have a can that has 473 mLs of beer, if it's carbonated 2.8 volumes, then it has 2.8 times that volume of CO2 compressed into it. So more, more for cans than for hours. You said more, it's more... It, it's higher with cans. It's higher. It's higher with cans. Yeah, because growlers is basically draft, you know, a nice smooth pour and everything else, you get beat up ahead. But I mean, with a can, you expect to see those bubbles coming out when you pour it out of the glass and everything else. So, it's and it's it's a safer thing because it guarantees that at almost every point during the packaging process, the pressure is on an outward way and the, the ingress of air is is completely. Uh, oh, on giant CO2 canister. Just heading out now, done at the brewery, we're done. That was fun, lots of fun. Had a nice little tour, nice little tour of the brewery, as you've seen some parts of it. And uh, picked up some nice beers, a couple of growlers full of stuff, and a couple of cans, and picked up a nice glass. So that's awesome, it was a lot of fun. What could be funner than going out on a, on a Saturday afternoon on a fairly decent day? to uh, visit a nice new craft brewery. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, and I appreciate it. And you guys take care, and we'll see you soon.
don't forget to keep your mugs full. Bye.